uh, definitely uh, CAR T cells are the major breakthrough over the last few years in the field of hematology. Uh, and today we are fortunate enough to have uh, two commercially available products approved and being increasingly used uh, uh, for the treatment of uh, ALL and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. And what uh, we have seen uh, these days is that definitely uh, we have mature results and a substantial proportion of ALL and non-Hodgkin lymphoma patients are definitely cured after these CAR T cells. So this is uh, wonderful news uh, for the patient. Uh, initially, uh, there were some, uh, I would say, concerns about the uh, serious side effects of these CAR T cells, namely the cytokine release syndrome and uh, neurotoxicity. This is, of course, an important issue, and we need to tackle it. However, we have seen uh, awareness being increased and the management of these complications is being improved. Now people, after having the proof of concept, after having hundreds of patients uh, treated, actually the community is already moving to the next step, uh, targeting other antigens, having dual uh, CAR T cells, for example, in lymphoma CD19 and CD22. But also, I think uh, the major issue we are facing is the lack of persistence of these cells. So this is why uh, a lot of work is still to be done. And there are many uh, different uh, uh, avenues to try to improve or to allow or to increase the expansion uh, of these cells in vivo, uh, use of cytokines, uh, armored CAR T cells, uh, the uh, checkpoint inhibitors in combination uh, with CAR T cells can be of interest. Uh, we've seen some results in CLL where ibrutinib, for example, can help uh, or can favor the persistence of these cells. So. This is really an exciting era for investigation, but definitely uh, CAR T cells uh, are becoming a key component of uh, the management uh, of ALL and non-Hodgkin uh, lymphoma.